Hey guys, today we're going to develop a text summarizer. I'll start by discussing the algorithm and then explain the implementation and show the summarizer in action. So let's get started. This algorithm that we'll discuss is my modification of the text summarizer developed by Shlomi Babluki. I hope I pronounced that right. I'll give the link to his version down in the description below if you want to check it out too. However, my version does offer more flexibility and improvements which we'll discuss later. So let's jump into the algorithm. Whee! So first we're going to take the entire context and split it down into paragraphs. Next we split each paragraph into sentences. Then we compare every sentence with every other. This is done by computing the number of common words and then normalizing this by dividing it by the average number of words per sentence. These intermediate scores or values that are computed are stored in an intersection matrix. We then compute the final scores and store them in a key value dictionary, where every key is the sentence and every value is the sum of intersection values with the sentence, that is the final score. From every paragraph, we extract the sentences with the highest score. And finally, we sort the selected sentences in the order of appearance in the original text to preserve context and meaning. And like that, you've generated a summary for the original text. Yaha! So we're going to implement this using Java. Let's take a look at this one class at a time. In the sentence class, the entire text is divided into a number of paragraphs and each paragraph is divided into a number of sentences. We give two numbers to every sentence. The first is the paragraph number, which indicates which paragraph this sentence is a part. The second is number, which indicates the sentence number with respect to the entire text. String length is the number of characters in the sentence. We really don't need this here, but I'll leave it in for now and I'll delete it from the code when I upload it to GitHub. Every sentence has a score that indicates its importance. This is initialized to zero. The number of words is computed by manually word tokenizing a sentence. And the sentence's value is the actual string. Now let's take a look at the paragraph class. Every paragraph has a number associated with it and an array list of sentences. A quick side note, an array list is a type of collection that we use to implement sentences and paragraphs. We could have also done this by using simple arrays, but collections better model the real world. Basically, it makes more sense, in case you were wondering why I use collections here and also later in the video. Next, we have the sentence comparator. Comparators in general are used to compare objects. For example, we know that five is greater than three as they are both integer types. But how do we actually compare two objects, in this case, two sentence objects with a number of properties? This is where a comparator comes in. To use a comparator, we need to create a class that implements the comparator interface for the generic type that we wish to compare. In this case, that generic type is sentence. Now we override the compare function, passing in the two sentence objects to be compared. In this case, one sentence is greater than the other if its score is greater. So if I were to take an example, if object one has a score of three and object two has a score of six, then the sentence object 2 is greater than the sentence object 1. Likewise, we define another comparator called sentence comparator for summary, which does exactly the same thing. However, the greater object is not the one with the higher score. It is the one with the higher number. We will be using this in the summary tool class while generating the summary to ensure that the selected sentences are in the order that they appear in the original text. The summary tool class takes care of all the operations from extracting sentences to generating the final summary. The constructor and the init functions will instantiate and initialize all variables required. 
extract sentence from context method is a primitive hand-built sentence tokenizer that extracts sentences based on the position of periods in the entire text. So when a period is encountered, the text seen until that point is considered a sentence and added to the sentence list. Furthermore, paragraphs are also segmented. A new paragraph is encountered if there are two consecutive line feed characters present between two bodies of text. Group sentences into paragraphs method creates a new paragraph object and stores the array list of sentences present in them. Know of common words finds the number of common words between the two sentences. The comparison is not case sensitive. Create intersection matrix creates a square matrix of size depending on the number of sentences in the entire context, or the source text. Every sentence is compared with every other, and an intermediate or partial score is generated using the normalization formula. This matrix will be symmetric about its diagonal, so we can reduce the time of execution by nearly half. The diagonal elements will be one because every sentence is 100% similar to itself. The create dictionary method takes the partial scores computed in the intersection matrix and further computes the total scores for every sentence. This is done by adding all the scores of a row and assigning the value to the corresponding sentence. So this creates a dictionary where the key is the sentence and the value is the sentence score. The create summary method will ultimately extract the final sentences for the summary. Some things, however, need to be taken care of. Certain paragraphs are longer than others. It wouldn't make sense to just select one sentence per paragraph. So, the number of sentences we select depends on the number of sentences in the paragraph. We select one sentence for every five sentences in a paragraph. So, let's say that an article has two paragraphs, with six sentences in the first and 17 in the second paragraph. From the first paragraph, we will select only two sentences, while from the second, we will select four. In the code, we iterate over every paragraph and determine the number of sentences to select from each. We then take the sentences and sort them in descending order of score. So the sentences of the paragraph will be arranged based on importance. We select the required number of sentences from the beginning of the list to be a part of the final summary. Once all the important sentences have been selected, it is important to preserve the order in which they appeared. This is done by sorting the sentences based on the sentence number property, which we implemented using the sentence comparator for summary class. Now, the print sentences, print intersection matrix, and print dictionary methods are developer methods. They display the corresponding structures. These are not required to generate the summary but I will leave them here so that you can visualize the intermediate steps for generating the summary. The print summary method prints the final summary on the console. Print stats prints the original word count, the summary word count, and the amount of compression, which is the ratio of the two. And now all of these methods are initiated from the main function in the main class. So how exactly is my summarizer better than the one originally? This text summarizer selects the number of sentences from a paragraph depending on the length, like I mentioned before. This is very important over the original text summarization implementation that only selects one sentence per paragraph, regardless of the length. So if the author decided to crunch everything into one paragraph, then only one sentence would have been chosen. In the current implementation, however, we set it to accept several sentences for larger paragraphs. This delivers cogent summaries for general essays, reviews, articles, and publications. In the init method of the summary tool class, we define the input file to be samples slash Amazon slash Nexus 6P. We are going to put all of these class files into a bin folder 
So let's create that first. Now go to your terminal and enter your project's working directory and then execute the command Java C option D bin and the name of the main class dot Java. The option D allows us to specify the path to store the generated class files. So right now all of our class files will be stored in the bin folder. Now we execute the main class file by specifying the class path, that is the bin folder in this case. So we've displayed the selected sentences one after another and even the stats at the bottom. I'll be uploading a bunch of sample essays, Amazon reviews, scientific articles, and blog posts along with the code for this project on GitHub. The link will be down in the description below this video. So what do you think of this text summarizer? Did you like it? Did you hate it? Leave a comment down below and let us know your thoughts. Be sure to subscribe on your way out for more amazing videos, and I'll see you in the next one.